What's happening, Nick Martinez, the Keto Dad, here with... Keto Cali. And today for dinner, we're having stuffed peppers. That's right, keto-friendly stuffed peppers. We just kind of created this. It's gonna be delicious. Can't wait to eat them when they cool down. Are you excited? Maybe? Yes? yes? <laughs> Check it out, I think you're gonna love it. All right, so what we've done so far is I've cut my peppers just into quarters. Now, a traditional stuffed pepper, of course, you're just gonna basically Cut it like this. <laughs> the uh, keto Juliana is in full force. But instead, we're just gonna do four like this. But if you have more peppers, by all means, keep them together and stuff them like you would traditionally. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to ground, or brown, a uh, half pound of our ground beef. We're only, we're basically having it. You could do a whole pound, but with the amount the girls eat and uh, the keto boss babe, there's not that much going on. We had some red onion in the fridge, so we're gonna use some red onion. You can use any onion you want, or if you have no onion, just use uh, onion powder. All right, we're having a little bit of fun here. We've got our beef, it's all ground. Now we're gonna add in some spices. So I've got some Italian seasoning. I'm gonna do about a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning now. No, I did half the uh, amount of beef. Maybe a little bit more just to give it some zip. And then uh, I've also got some garlic. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of garlic, actually a half teaspoon of garlic here. That's probably good. And then I've got a half cup of diced tomatoes I'm gonna throw in there. And then I'm also gonna do a half cup of cauliflower rice, or riced cauliflower. There we go. And let's just do a little bit more for good measure. Three quarters cup. All right, now we're just gonna mix this together. All right, that cooked down for three to four minutes there. I'm just gonna transfer it into a, another bowl here. And we've decided that this might be good to add just a little bit of marinara sauce, about a quarter cup. But before I do that, I'm gonna use the quarter cup to get some Parmesan cheese. Just add that in there, that's gonna give it some nice flavor, a little bit of marinara sauce. I'm gonna do about the same, quarter cup. You don't wanna do too much because then it might get a little bit liquidy, but I think this is just gonna add some good sauce and flavor. And now the fun part, we get to stuff the peppers and basically just divide your meat mixture up between whatever peppers you have. And look at that. Now for the finishing touch, we're just gonna grate some mozzarella cheese on top of them for a nice little garnish. We're gonna cook it now for about 20 to 30 minutes, 375 on the oven, depending on how cooked you like your peppers. And we'll see how it turns out. Okay, 20 minutes is up. Let's see how it looks. And oh my goodness, look at that. They look delicious. We're gonna let them cool down for a minute and try them. Okay, it's cooled down and they're ready for us to cut into, ooh, look at this. That looks delicious. Let me get a little pepper, get some of the meat. And what more could you ask for? Mmm. I like it. It's tasty. Here's what's fun with these. You can make them Mexican style, like with Mexican spices or Hispanic spices. You can make them Italian style, you can make them whatever kind of flavor you want just based upon what you put in it. And it's simple, right? It's ground beef, it's some cheese, it's some cauliflower rice, and a pepper. But that's it, plus the spices. So I give this a two thumbs up, it's versatile. I think it's something that we're gonna be doing more and more of just because it was simple, the kids love it. And it's keto. So with that, have an awesome day. Remember, keep it simple, keep it fun, keep it keto.